be cool, just move with the groove. No funk in here, the beat way too smooth. Yeah. So let's yeah. just do what we came to do. <laughs> Hello, bit of a crazy time yesterday. I made this video already about five times yesterday. Um, I was having massive problems with our computer because we had to uninstall and reinstall Windows and uninstall and reinstall lots of stuff. In the end, the video I uploaded, the audio I wasn't happy with, so I took it down. And today, I just I just bought um, Sony, what is it called? Sony Movie Studio Platinum 13 because I was using Sony Studio 10 or whatever it was and um, this one works better so that's good so I'm actually having to recreate the entire video that I took down yesterday so if you did watch it and you've come back I appreciate that on Sunday I got to go to the EU finals of the COD championships in London thanks to lovely Liam at Activision for inviting me which not meant not only did I get to see the lovely Activision boys again and the lovely AC Bongos who is the best Bongos in the world and I love him but I also got to speak to Joe Seacott, who I hope I am pronouncing his name right, who is a multiplayer designer for Infinity Ward. So he was actually talking to me all about the game Ghosts from his point of view as a game developer and it was so interesting hearing about what they have to do to balance the guns across all of the different maps, the shipped maps, the DLC maps, the different play styles, the different game modes. And yeah, it was fascinating kind of insight. The reason I wanted to go to the COD Championships was because since the Titanfall beta ended, I went back to Ghost for one day and it was horribly campy and I didn't have the right attitude and I couldn't enjoy it. So I gave up and I went back to Black Ops 2 because Black Ops 2 is the sexy ex-boyfriend who's rolled into town for the weekend. Says, I'm, I know I moved out of town, but I'm back, baby, so give me a call. And sex, i.e. swarms, were in the air. So I've had a lovely fling with Black Ops 2 over the past couple of weeks. But I wanted to play Ghosts. I mean, I got up at 5am and queued for four hours to be in the first 500 to play that game. I am I am the world's biggest COD fangirl. And I wanted to enjoy it because I had enjoyed it for four solid months until that horrible day. So, um, I was really glad that I got the invite to go. I went along and it totally reignited my passion for the game. It's brilliant. I haven't had much time to play since then, which has been so frustrating. But I did leap on and try out the lovely Joe Seacott's um, tip of using the Honey Badger on semi-automatic mode. So it's a single shot Honey Badger and it's so much fun. And that is what I needed. I needed a silly gun to make me enjoy Ghosts again. Something challenging and a bit different. Like um, when I used to use the Dragonoff in Modern Warfare 3, you know, something fun. I'm not saying it's perfect. I think the one big flaw for me in Ghosts is the creator class system. I would prefer it if they went back to the unlocking guns as you progress rather than having everything open to unlock once you've got enough squad points. Um, I think Black Ops 2 got the class system about right in that way, the pick 10 system. I'm glad they implemented that, but I think they also needed to keep the unlocks going with progression because I think it takes away some of that addiction you feel. When you're playing something silly like Heyday, which I, I play a lot because I don't like being bored, I have to have something going all of the time. And I get addicted to Heyday because it, it means nothing. But I like levelling up, getting the XP so that I can level up and unlock new stuff. It's all about progression and the unlocks. And Ghosts with their unlock system lost a little bit of that compared to the other CODs. I can see why they did it, but I think it has more disadvantages than advantages in my view and I hope the next CODs will go back to that old system of unlocking as you go along. So yeah, I leapt on. You can see the gameplay here using the Honey Badger semi-automatic. I had a lot of fun. It was awesome. It was good times. So I'm really hoping that a lot of people might get back onto Ghosts this weekend on Xbox Live. It is free to play multiplayer this weekend if you don't have it, if you've never tried it, or if you fell out of love for it for a little bit, um, get back on. My gamer tags, both of them, are in the description. But feel free to add me, feel free to come and play with me, feel free to teabag me. I don't mind being teabagged, I find it all hilarious. Playing COD, while I like to have that competitive spirit, I really like to win. I oh, really like to win. I also really like to have fun and going to the COD Championships and watching people play so competitively and so well and getting that spirit of fun back is great for me, it's really reignited my love of ghosts so I'm happy. I'm back to playing it 
Um, I'm still going to keep um, uploading different gameplays. There's still going to be some COD Force and Black Ops 2, as well as Ghosts. And when Titanfall comes out, there's going to be Titanfall 2. In the meantime, happy days. Have a good pancake day. Flip a few for me. Americans, you're missing out. You need pancake day. Oh my god, I love this country. <laughs> I really do. I love this country. I li America, I lived in you for four years, but no. Come on. Pancake day. Love it. Bye. Be cool, just move with the groove. No funk in here to beat way too slow. Yeah. Let's just do what we can do. Just vibe with it.